Welcome back to Touring Plans TV. I'm Angela Dahlgren and today is part two of Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort. This is found in the Epcot area of Walt Disney World. Today we will be talking about a plethora of different dining options, the pools, recreation, and amenities. So why am I still talking? Let's just get down to it. Dining. Flying Fish is a fine dining seafood option where you can get dinner. This restaurant is located on the boardwalk and the theme is a contemporary setting inspired by the 1930s Coney Island roller coaster. A little bit of trivia for ya. This roller coaster was actually called the Flying Turns and there was a car that was dubbed the Flying Fish. Yeah. Flying Fish. If you're looking to really treat yourself, you can take part in the chef's tasting wine dinner. You have the opportunity to sit at the chef's counter in front of the kitchen and watch a five course meal be prepared right in front of you. Each course is paired with a wine that is selected by the manager, so you know it's gonna be great. This is for ages 10 and up, although obviously the 10 year olds can't drink, and you have to make a reservation at least a day in advance. The ESPN Club is where you can get lunch and dinner. This is a sports bar with basketball court flooring, sports memorabilia, and nearly 100 TV monitors where you can watch almost any televised game. Literally, even in the bathroom, as there's TVs over every stall. I mean, why would you ever leave the bathroom? Really? It's a pub style menu with options such as wings, fried shrimp, and burgers. And not only is the place family friendly, but it's one of the cheaper options you'll find on the boardwalk. Seating is first come first serve, but now you can book weekday lunches from 11.30 to 4 p.m. Big River Grill and Brewing Works serves lunch and dinner. This is a great place if you're a beer lover. They have award winning handcrafted ales and lagers that are brewed on site. And if you can't choose between the six specialty beers, you can just order the beer sampler and try them all. This is a good late night dining choice and there's outside seating if the weather permits. Abracadabar is a new lounge that you'll find located on the boardwalk strip. Now according to Disney legend, this was the old stomping grounds for famous magicians and illusionists. They would gather here after almost every show and would try to out trick and out charm the other, which resulted in some pretty nice cocktail inventions. The club then vanished into thin air. Until now. In addition to some yummy cocktails, you'll see enchanted show posters, funny mirrors, and vintage props and tricks. Trattoria El Forno is a table service option that serves breakfast and dinner. They offer frittatas for breakfast and go all out for dinner. I'm talking mussels, fried calamari, and of course, pasta, duh. There's an extensive wine list that's 100% Italian, and there's also cocktails, Italian beers, and sodas. The Boardwalk Bakery serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and this is a small counter service option with a variety of San sandwiches, salads, pastries, and beverages. Boardwalk Joe's Marvelous Margaritas is a small counter with a selection of margaritas, pretzels, or even roasted nuts. Boardwalk Pizza Window is a pizza window where you can get pizza by the whole or by the slice. The Boardwalk To Go Cart serves things such as hot dogs, mozzarella sticks, chicken, and footlong corn dogs. And the Funnel Cake Cart sells funnel cake. But also you can get like chocolate and ice cream on it too. For your dessert pleasures, there's Ample Hills Creamery. The best part about this place is you can sample as many ice cream options as you want before making your choice and adding your desired mix-ins. There's also pizza delivery to your rooms as well as other room service options. Bellevue Lounge is a 1930s style sitting room where there's indoor seating and a full drink menu. And you can also get coffee and pastries here for breakfast. And finally, Leaping Horse Libations is located adjacent to the main pool and here you can get a small selection of specialty drinks, beer, wine, and grab-and-go options. Pools. The largest pool is Luna Park Pool and the theme is a 1920s amusement park. There's a 200 foot long water slide and a hot tub, kiddie pool, and water play area. There are two other leisure pools. One is located south of the Luna Park Pool and the other is located on the east side of the resort. Recreation and amenities. If you're looking for a night of fun, check out Jelly Rolls. This is a bar with dueling pianos and audience sing-alongs. It has a stage with large mirrors behind the performers and there's also a little light show. To enter Jelly Rolls, you must be 21 or older and I would recommend showing up early for a table. And if you're looking to boogie the night away, check out the Atlantic Dance Hall, which is a nightclub located on the boardwalk strip. And there you can dance to songs from the 80s, 90s, and today. If you're looking for more recreational ideas, there's fishing, tennis, and bike and Surrey bike rentals. There's campfire activities, movies under the stars, and a 0.8 mile walking trail that goes around Crescent Lake. 
Other amenities include Muscles and Bustles Health Club, which is a fitness center and you can also get massages there, Sideshow Games Arcade, a gift shop called Screen Door General Store, and finally there's laundry facilities. I hope you've enjoyed hearing all about Disney's Boardwalk Inn Resort. Let me know in the comments if you have any other video ideas for me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!